Hey, what's up, super dads? Uh, quick one today, just an exercise for those of you out here who use a screen a lot, which I imagine is probably all of you. And if you're noticing that your posture is not so great, particularly if you have what's called forward head, which is where, well, your head is sort of this sort of pushed forward, usually something like this position. You walk around there with your head sort of in front of your body rather than aligned with your like over top of your shoulders and your hips okay this is a stretch that can help you out now it's not the only thing that you would need to do uh probably your your chest is overly tight you probably want to stretch that out a bit that's my lunch uh but this is a stretch that you're going to do for your neck now often when people think about you know stretching out their neck to deal with this forward head position they immediately go to basically uh, putting their head back like this. And that's like precisely the opposite thing that you want to do. Because if you think about it, this forward head position, what is happening is the muscles in the back of your neck and your sort of upper back here are contracted. They're, they're shortened in their shortened position. And these muscles are lengthened. Okay. And if you do this for long enough, you carry a bunch of tension up in here and these become sort of habitually shortened, right? And that's where you, you, know, you get things like tension headaches and things like that. Okay, so if you were to stretch out like this, you are just shortening the muscles that are already, you know, preternaturally shortened, preternaturally. I don't know if that's the right word, but uh, you're shortening them even further. And what you wanna do is lengthen them and relax them. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Interlace your fingers, put them behind your head. Okay, then you're pushing your head forward just a little bit just a tiny bit. But more than that, what you're doing is you're pushing the back of your head into your hands, into your hands. Now, if you do that, what ends up happening, I'll just do it with one hand, is you find that your neck sort of lengthens out like so. You don't need to do it that hard. But if you imagine that, you know, right in here between where my elbows, my hands are, is a window. So underneath here, this is a window. I want to basically push the, my neck through that window a bit by, by pressing against my hands. So your hands, more than they're pushing you forward, are basically just a reference point to push against with your head, okay, like so. Now, I would recommend that you also do this to either side. So you can tilt your head to the side, just slightly down like this. My lunch is calling again. And you're pushing against your hands and letting your neck sort of come through that window. You do it on the other side, and usually you'll have one side that where you feel this more than you feel the other side. Okay, so this is a, and then you want to reset yourself. Okay, you want to make sure that your head is over your shoulders, over your hips, and resume your uh, correct posture. Now, one thing that I will typically say to people who ask me about posture, and this question does come up more than I would have expected. Um, you know, I don't know why I wouldn't have expected it, but uh, apparently people are paying attention to their posture and they're not liking what they're finding, is that more than anything, yes, these stretches can help. Most, mostly they can help get rid of the tension that you're carrying around, help with things like tension headaches and stuff like that, give you, you know, sort of shorter term relief. But more than anything, posture is not that your muscles, it's not because your muscles are weak. It's not that you need to strengthen these muscles. That's very rarely the case. Oh, okay. Uh, just because you have a strong chest doesn't mean you walk around with your chest collapsed in all the time because your chest is strong, right? You don't need the strength that you have, potential strength that is there to be used is not mean you're always engaging that strength. Okay. So it's less, it's less a problem of uh, having enough strength in the right places. Mostly it's a habit problem. Mostly it's a problem of just creating the habit of being forward head or being hunched over or having bad posture. It really just comes down to habit. And very often your habit follows from your emotional, cognitional, your psychological state. And if your psychological state is one that's hunched over and collapsed for whatever reason, you are going to reflect that in your physical manifestation. You're going to manifest it physically. You're going to embody the, w the way that your thought patterns and emotional patterns go. Man, that lunch is really going for me. <laughs> okay, everybody. So habitual change. Change the habit and you'll change, you know, you'll get rid of the problem in most cases. And in order to change the habit, a lot of it is about changing your, the patterns of thought and emotion that you have. 
Okay, thank you so much. Uh, if you're interested in any, any workout programs or the group, uh, the Facebook group, go ahead and join those below. Check them out below. And for everyone who comments and likes and that kind of stuff, I really do appreciate it. It means a ton to me and it absolutely helps. You know, if I'm making a video here, it's, it means I'm doing it instead of something else that I could be doing, right? So it does take time. It does take, it does take energy. It does take a little thinking as well. well just a little bit. Okay, thanks again. Take it easy, everyone.